What I want to review is the use of the form and the spreadsheet. The dots you've seen in these videos, and it's a right click on the red dot to resize, and a blue dot right click to locate. But the spreadsheet and the form have a lot of function built in. One is that they're both calculators. With these nine boxes, with these nine boxes, you can locate and size anything in three dimensions. And the rows of the boxes are related. So you change one or two of the values and click the button for the other value and Sketchless will calculate the difference. So these three any three text boxes in a row are interrelated. I wanted to say change the right value to 18 and click the left, that uh, move happens accordingly. If I wanted to change the width from 12 to 48, well, 12 to 24, click the right, and you see that that assembly is uh, changed in value. Now this is just changing the size of the container. I'll talk about how to change with the contents in another video. And that's how these are related. So I could say, I can say that I want the left to, to be zero and the width to be 32 and calculate and that makes the change. The other way a form is a calculator is you can actually you can actually go into the form and enter minus plus or times and a value and change that that way. The spreadsheet is the form on a horizontal plane. The values are the same. They work the same way. The cells contain the values. So I can say left is 4. Now here I want to click the column heading right. That becomes the button. So I can change the width. Changing the width 36 to the right like that. Can change the right value to 40, change the left. The advantage of the spreadsheet is that everything is in context. You can see the location and size of the object you're working with in relation with the others. Any change made in the spreadsheet is reflected in the form any change in the form is reflected in the spreadsheet.